up here in the corner. Very good. And could you focus down here? Nice. Nice. And I see one right here. Could you focus here in the middle? I'm here. I'm here to help you focus on your soul aesthetic. of my ASMR videos is always to help you to rest, reset, and connect. Rest, reset, Halloween is forever. Halloween is in your heart. All the shit they say about Santa Claus applies to Halloween. Thank you. Thank you. I agree. So, I'm here just a few days into August this time, because why wait? And, uh, it's time to celebrate spooky season. It's here. If you're new to
so we can match. Everybody say congrats to Alyssa because she just moved in with her boyfriend. It's gonna be the ride of your life, girly pop. I'm so excited. I'm like literally, I feel like, um, like I, I've had too much coffee maybe today, so rein it in, but congratulate Alyssa in the comments. It's a really big step and that's super exciting. I'm super happy for you. And, um, she loves Halloween. I mean, she's a real one and who doesn't love Halloween? So we're gonna have these matching coffin trinket trays. I needed to go grab her one. And when I went back, it's like I realized that they have two or three more aisles of Halloween stuff over to the left. But the first aisle was fall stuff. So I just, I thought this was all they had. So I do apologize to myself because I'm, I missed out the first time I went. So I grabbed Alyssa, her trinket tray. It's already in the mail, bestie. You should get it by Monday. And I grabbed a few other items that I just could not pass up and you'll see why. No. I did not even notice when my light died, you guys. I hope that was fun for you. You were probably like asleep, hopefully, but if not, you were probably like oh usually what I get so excited about and like will entice me to do a little bit of damage um, will be that it'll usually be 30 to 40 percent off when they put it out so I don't know if I missed that I was there last Saturday which I feel like is end of July that's pretty early but no sale to speak of yesterday when I went a week later, so this was $12.99 plus tax, and I feel like that's actually a really good deal for this. I think that's super cute. Um, this is a particle board, I think, on the back, and then maybe or maybe not wood on the sides. Maybe more just like really sets the vibe because I do like that it's shiny. There's no window in the ring light. And that's a mirror. Like a standing mirror. And that is a beast hair. <laughs> so, it loves that. And then this is from the same line, I believe. Happy Hallow Halloween Hippie. Because uh, it's like hollow, you know, like Happy Hallow Hollow. I don't know, I just think that's so freaking cute. Oh my god. I'm like turning into Wolverine, but instead of like adamantium armor coursing through. The need to go find Halloween decor. Does that make sense? <laughs> and that example came to mind purely because we are watching all of the X-Men, including Wolverine movies in order. Um, we went to see Deadpool and Wolverine, and it's probably one of the best movies I've ever seen in my I mean, wow, some Magalza, I just... <sighs> Chris Evans was hilarious. Be sure you stay if you haven't go gone to see it yet. You need to stay for the after credit scene. Um, you'll be sitting 
spoil anything for you so just now it's probably my favorite Deadpool or Wolverine movie ever and Logan is very good okay Logan is peak cinema a masterpiece <laughs> looking at yourself in this thing is crazy Wowza. Okay, I had like eight eyes just now. So, yeah, be careful with this one. If you like, take it camping and do shrooms or anything. Maybe don't look into it. Weird advice, I know, but you never know what situation you will find yourself in. I right? just like my besties to stay safe. Um,. um I know it's like move on to the next trigger, but like I am utterly mesmerized. Okay, I'm an only child. So you could give me something like this and tell me to make up a story with it, and I could easily play with it for the next six weeks. You know what I mean? Like, and it's probably like a magic item that a wizard gave me or something. Then I have to take it. I'm out doomed to destroy it. <laughs> this was 22. And that was the limit for me. I saw it and I was like, yeah, and it better not be 25 or 29 because that's in Canada. I'm not paying that. So, it barely, it barely got my money on that one. But you know, the craziest thing. I went to go pick up a coffee and it's about a four minute drive to Michael's and I'm like, let me just go pop in and gotta grab Alyssa's thing and get it in the mail before the weekend and maybe like grab a few other things, you know, you know. And as I'm falling into the shopping center, I saw a sign that said Spirit Hell. It's time. Like, it's hello fucking rain. It's here. Okay. Now, this. We're gonna get into y'all's little weird houses. There's some, there's some weird ones. But we're not there yet. This, I just had to get. It's a cute little serving tray. Um, I think I'm gonna put, like, snacks on it and use it whenever I'm also put like triggers on it and set it on my stool but you guys I know I'm not like the only person in the world that makes hard hands but like straight out of the intro rest reset and connect and so as soon as I saw it I did think of you guys and then if I'm being honest like the thought process was like oh my god it's my heart hands for my besties on the channel that also like Taylor Swift and everybody else in the world does but you know it just kind of she doesn't have skeleton clips you know she doesn't she has like 30 Grammys so to each their own but yeah I just immediately thought oh. <laughs> Rue is this play about us? It was kind of like how I felt. And this, I know you're like ten ninety nine, right? No, nineteen ninety nine. It's it's hard out here for a Halloween hippie, okay? But um, speaking of X Men and Wolverine, I know you were dying to circle back to that. I didn't know. Okay, this is a spoiler if you don't know, like, the origin of Wolverine. Sorry, my ankle. Um, I didn't know it was originally 
scaly fingers. Okay, that scared me last night. I was a little uncomfortable. I, I didn't, I didn't care to see that that many times. You know what I mean? Because that's not that that I ride. <laughs> Frankly, that's against such a nature. Um, so we found like a Reddit thread that showed, like tells you the movies you should watch in order all the way up to Deadpool Wolverine. But like some of these I've seen before, like I've obviously seen Logan, all the Deadpool movies. And um, I had seen Days of Future Past and like a few. Um, I've seen the newer X-Men movies for sure, like the one with Sophie Turner as Jean Grey. So, uh, yeah, I thought I knew a good bit, and I knew, I knew Wolverine got the metal claws from being experimented on, like tormented, and it was like adamantium, um, metal that like was injected into his skeleton so it's, he's like indestructible because and because he heals himself he's immortal and he's got the adamantium and I just thought when he was experimented on is when he got all three of those things you know like the self-regenerating and the immort immortality really but he was born with that and he was born with like when I tell you, just watch X-Men Origins Wolverine because I had no fucking idea about that backstory. And I'm like, did he just jack skeleton his hand just now? Um, so yeah, very interesting. I think, what is next? Wade was in that one, or Ryan Reynolds was in that one. I guess after, I think I fell asleep in it, so after we finish that one, we'll be on to Deadpool 1, 2, etc. Deadpool 1, 2, then Logan, probably. No, we gotta do the one with Sophie Turner. So, yeah.
was a real spider that had made a web this big attached to my car door this morning. So, like, that's... It doesn't need to be realistic, you know? Like, I had to crawl through the door on the other side and slide over. So, it's okay to have a cartoony spider every once in a while in life, you know? Jesus. Let me have that. Okay. This is the last thing I'm going to show you before it gets freaking weird. Do you understand me? Okay. So, this is a little $9.99 Halloween bouquet. And, like, does it look a little cheap? Sure. Sure. But for me, I would rather grab something. Like, I love this holographic, plasticky, like, vine. And then the holographic, it's like an oil slick, hollow skeleton hand. I just think that's so cute. And, of course, we've got to do some of this with it on the purple fuzzy mic cover. So don't say I've never done anything for you, okay? Because honestly, as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh yeah, that's for the microphone dinkies. Microphone dinkies. such cute, like, affordable decor. My friends and I are doing a boulder skate theme for Halloween. And I think we're hosting it at my place, so... Like, how cute is that gonna be in a vase? porcelain, okay? This ain't anything fancy. But I do love that it's like, I don't know, it's like if you were a princess and being forced to get married and like you slip to somebody this potion on your wedding day in a fantastical land, I don't know. But as soon as I saw it, You always need a potion in D and D. Should have as many potions on you at all times as you possibly can. And this one has a snake around it, which kind of reminded me of Dela. Taylor Swift. As I patiently await us all waiting for reputation. This will be some Halloween decor, as will this little cutie, you guys. This was $19.99, but I do 
really feel like the craftsmanship is there for this one. And it just also goes so well with like a D&D theme, especially the Underdark if you've played Baldur's Gate 3. This just immediately reminded me of that. It's like a little crystallized snail. And this is also from the Haunted Forest collection. And this requires a three, no, two AAA batteries, and I think it lights up. So I'm very excited about that. There's a a switch on the bottom, and I have no idea what part about it lights up, but I'm assuming this, where it's clear here. So that is like actually perfect for the Underdark. And one of the friends in the group is going to be a Myconoid. So it's actually perfect. Perfect. I love the colors though. Some of these fall off as you just saw, like some of them are not glued on well, but for the most part they are. And then, last but not least, I am obsessed with this, and if I could have only gotten one thing. And they had several of these. They had a white raven head and a wolf head. The wolf head was really cool and so was the white raven head. But I just had to go with the swan. It's just stunning and it's got cobwebs on it, more of those crystals that the slug had. And I just think it's like so mysterious and like, if I was a witch, which I am, then I would definitely have this in my house, you know, like in my little cottage, but not a real swan, of course. So, I am, like, ah, obsessed. Did anyone ever read The Trumpet of the Swan when they were in second grade instead of playing on the playground with the rest of because, like, that would be so weird of you. Like, the teacher would, like, be like, Oh, will you please go to recess now and, like, get out of the classroom? Okay. It comes with this, but it's also got a place for a nail on the back. And I'm trying to, like, Some of these are just like hanging, 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 and then some are glued on really nicely. So, there was a painting in this collection that I really wanted to grab, but I just couldn't because when I looked closely at it, it was AI. Like, it had a little stamp faintly. It was this like faceless witch with a crown and like wolves, white wolves, in a snowy forest. I was like, I've got to have that. And then the closer I looked, it was like, you could see where it said, like, pick art or, like, free pick or something very softly in the snow. And then also, um, like, one of the wolves had three front legs, and it was, like, very obviously AI art, which is, like, uh, Michael fucking Michaels. You're an arts and crafts store. Why are we not using AI software to make our canvases? Pay a small artist on Etsy or something. Like, I just... 
anyway, the audace, you know, the audace of corporate America these days. And I hope you enjoyed this first Halloween haul of the season. The next couple of haul videos are going to be, um, kind of like late summer themed, not necessarily Halloween, but don't worry, um, Halloween is here. I didn't want to, like, make it seem like I'll be posting every single day. Um, I'll try to do that maybe, like, the week of Halloween, but I just really want to grow the channel and show up as much as I can during this time, so, um, there'll be as many videos as I can get up. They just may not all be Halloween, you know, from now through October 31st. There'll be some late summer, some fall, um, really fun stuff. I've got a small business haul I'm excited to share with you guys, and just so many cute things, so stay tuned for that. And if you haven't already, I would love to have you join us, Earthling, join us so we come in peace. Hit the subscribe button and down below. Leave a little comment, let me know how you're doing, I want to know how your week's going, and if you're ready for Halloween feeling like, does, does, do you feel like summer doesn't get enough time once we hit August? Let me know what's up, and until next time, and in case I'm